Welcome to Little Lambs. Today we're going to hear another great story from God's book, the Bible. Let's get started by singing our song. Do it with me. Open them, close them, open them, close them. Give a little clap. Open them, close them, open them, close them. Fold them in your lap. It's time to hear God's story. Let's open our storybook. Today, I'm going to have the story on top of our storybook so you can really see it. So it's a little taller. Okay. Our story today goes like this. David was a shepherd boy. Here's David. Each morning, David took his father's sheep, here's the sheep, see them in their pen? Each morning, David took his father's sheep from their pen. He opens the pen and he leads them out. David made sure the sheep had grass to eat. David led the sheep down to a stream where they could drink cool water. David loved the sheep, and he took really good care of them. One day, David saw a lion coming after the sheep. But God made David strong, and David killed the lion. David and the sheep were safe. Another time, a bear came and tried to get one of the sheep. God made David strong again, and David got rid of the bear. David and the sheep were safe. At night, David led the sheep back to their pen. Sometimes, David sang songs about God. Here's a song that David might have sung. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Okay, now you sing it with me. And when we do this, we're showing our big muscles in our arms for God being strong and mighty. Ready? My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. 
The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the twinkling stars are too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Good job. I want to show you these characters close up. I'm going to move closer. Here's David. He's a shepherd. Here's his sheep. Bah. Here's another sheep. It's Lammy. He really liked this story because they kept the sheep safe. And here's the lion and the bear. Today, I brought some white Play-Doh and I had a sheep cookie cutter. I don't know where it went. Well, if you have a sheep cookie cutter, you can use that. And I have some other animals you might find in a pasture too. Somewhere I have a sheep cookie cutter. But anyway, here's other things you would find in a pasture. A caterpillar. A duck. A goose. A rabbit. And a horse. I chose white Play-Doh for my sheep and the goose and yellow Play-Doh for the duck and the horse. You know what would be really fun today for you to do to go with this story is to pretend to be sheep and somebody can pretend to be the shepherd. So at home, you could use pillows or couch cushions or if you have blocks or other things, make a pen for the sheep. Just like our sheep had a little pen, a little fence. And then one of the pieces would open and close to let David lead his sheep in and out of the pen. It would be really fun to pretend to be sheep and go inside the pen. And one of you can pretend to be the shepherd and you can stand or sit by the entrance to keep them safe. You can talk about how shepherds take care of their sheep and how God takes care of us. Here's a picture of God caring for David the shepherd boy. Another thing you can do to celebrate this story from God's book, the Bible, is make sure and care for your pet. Or you could pretend to take care of a pet, like one of your stuffed animals. You could make a special treat for a neighbor or a loved one. Or you could share a favorite toy or be kind to someone. Remember to thank God for taking care of everyone in your family. And when you pray together, count the ways God cares for you. Another thing you can do is make a picture collage of all the many things God gives you each day as he cares for us. It's fun to cut and glue and make a collage. Ms. Shalom has a huge bag of things to show you as an example. Some of the pictures you could cut from magazines would be friends, family, food, our homes and beds, going to school, and so many more things. Here's one more. Here's a pet. 
We don't usually have pet goats, but this little boy looks pretty happy with his. So you can cut out of a magazine after you ask mom and dad if it's okay, or grandma or grandpa, or whoever you're with, and then you could glue these onto a paper and talk about how God cares for you, just like he cared for David the shepherd boy. And that story is from 1 Samuel 17, verses 34 and through 36. Thank you for coming to Little Lambs. God cared for the sheep and for David the shepherd boy, and God cares for you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.